Greetings everybody, I'm Alestis. Thank you for joining me and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 playing as Prussia, where we are invading the Ottomans and the coalition has mostly disappeared, except for Austria, which is getting invaded. So, good times, good times. France is also... Yeah. I hope he doesn't take anything, because he's big enough and scary enough. But, we'll just see what happens. Anyway, let's continue invading everything. Bosna has fallen. No, we can't go through here. Can we get military access through Ragusa? No. So you guys can... I don't know. Relax on this. Have a holiday. Since the day this video goes up is on the 25th. So they'll have a Christmas holiday in this even if they have insufficient supply or insufficient number of men. Still keeping an eye out for the Ottomans because I don't see them on the border, so I am a bit worried he suddenly appears. Maybe if we stack all other men here, we can get the... Uh, how does this work again? We need 6,000... 6 men. Wow. That is scary. Austria got wrecked. Oh well. And no more coalition. And Lithuania has announced this as a rival. Ah, you silly Lithuania. And no more coalition. Yep, it should be empty. Yeah, beautiful, which means we can start invading lots of people again. We just needed powerful allies. So you guys can split. I guess one can go there. No, you're fine. Recall, and let's start working then on the... Uh... Well, obviously, we need to take care of Frankfurt. Who's I like to as us with Austria, Magdeburg, and Oldenburg, so that'll be fun. However, if we just took Nuremberg, your ally, to Austria. Brilliant. Goodbye, Nuremberg. It was nice knowing you. You are allied to Bavaria, and people say, yeah. We'll have a little party in Europe after this war. Still no sign of the Ottomans. I think they, uh... Local fortification expert discovered. It seems as there is a great man in one of the provinces who has some rather intriguing ideas on how to create better fortifications. However, he is reluctant to leave his hometown. Gain military or gain local defensiveness. Until the end of the game, Bratslav. Ratzlaff could... I get... Uh... Oh wait, it is level 2 and we can go up to... Level 6. Oh, that's why it's so easy. Yeah, let's get a uh, local offensiveness bonus. Sounds good. And let's start working on those heavies. Do we need to... Wow. Ah, France's men. Okay. I think we'll be fine. How can we work on having this alliance again? Because I think we used to have one. And it somehow broke off. Yeah, let's improve relations with you. And... You're still just allied to Russia. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, so let's fabricate on... I don't know. Ooh. There's our screw. Nice. Uh, let's fabricate on... Who's the emperor? Course. <laughs> so we want to attack Würzburg because we want him to remain the emperor, since he is fairly useless. Although, although he is... Uh, he has one whole troop. 
I think we do need Altmark for Germany at some point. Let's just check. From the German nations, we need München, Nuremberg, Köln, Pfalz, Augsburg, Frankfurt. So yeah, we do need Frankfurt. So let's make sure we have a claim on Frankfurt, because we will need it. Air falls ill. No, 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 no. Damn it, he died. No, a good air. He was, he had so much potential. And yet he died. Ah, well that sucks. Do we have a new air? <clears throat> nope. Ah, that's a waste of money then. Oh well, sad times. Actually, you guys can group up in Sofia. We have stacks of two. And yeah. 11% war score. We're getting a ticking war score from controlling Selanik, I believe. Oh, we apparently lost a naval battle. Poland, of course. So yeah, this will be basically waiting for... Um, do we want to try and bait them? I'm not really interested in... <clears throat> I just don't know where his troops are. And we're not going to be able to cross as long as he has all these boats here. Six heavies. We'd need ten heavies and that'd be expensive. Oh, Poland is actually sieging stuff. Wow, well, that went fast. Let's go to Athens. You guys can relax here. Well, actually, yeah, we need you to Athens to fall first before we can go on the rest. We are losing a CB against Magdeburg, a diplomatic insult, so I think we'll let it pass. We're not in a rush to uh, kill him. Oh, Ajuran has brought boats. Interesting. Can't go here, can't go here. Can't really go to... Oh, I could go to Kofu. Yeah, let's bring you on Yanya. So you stop switching because of the fort in Kofu. Is he landing troops? Yeah, in Burgas on the 14th. We arrive on the 21st. How about we arrive on the 18th now? <clears throat> Let's go and say hi. And Splunk, no more troops. <sighs> okay, so hopefully we can feed some land to our vassal here. Fortunately. What religion are you? Oh, you're uh, reformed, are you? Yeah. Oh, troops! Let's let's invite him over. Oh wait! Ah, damn it! I wanted to try and uh, he's trying to go away. Seventh of September. Seventh of September. How about if we can squish some of his troops? It's at least something nice to do because we are at full manpower. Well, close to full. Uh. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> that's 30,000 men less for the Ottomans, which are down to... He probably mucked up a bit. Oh, I was in the right place. 40,000, yeah. Problem is, yeah, boats. Uh, I should start working on... Oh, oh, yeah, we're reinforcing, which is costing a bit of money. Not sure why you have 52,000 troops on none of my provinces. Have you been fabricating claims on me? No, you haven't. Surprised he hasn't annexed this guy yet. Athena has fallen. Good. Is there any fort here? No, no, no. So you guys can try and go and cut on Corfu. You guys can go here. You guys can go here. Just siege whatever we can. Okay, now he'll probably try and block these troops 
Encore faux. We shall see. Truce of Augsburg has ended. Good, good, good. So, oh, he's managed to bring troops on. Interesting. Oh, there's 40,000 remaining troops. So you guys can come back and, uh, I don't know, just do stuff. Ragusa and Venice are duking it out. Or were duking it out. Or oh, 50,000 men. Has Ajuran still got any troops? Because if we could piece him out, we could get some extra war score from what we have here. Wow, that went fast. Okay, we've managed to get off the island. Very good. Is this controlled by... Ah, oh, this is by the Ottomans. So we'll see if we can manage to just slip in a few men here. I doubt it. But well, you never know. Not that it's important, it's not a fort, but it's always extra income, which he can't take. It worked, but what about these troops? Shouldn't they block us walking through the strait? Eh? No? Okay, well, sure. Ah, we already control it. Good, a vassal has been working hard. And we can walk back. Wait, isn't this a straight crossing which should be prevented from this? These boats? Hmm. Problem with having sieged all his coast is that he gets blockade points. Uh, blockade. Oh, yeah, okay, not really. Not enough to actually impact any shape or form the outcome of this war. Does that mean I can move? No, so why can you move and you can't? Hmm. I'll just wait for Ajuran to stop being high enthusiasm. So all you guys can come back to Europe proper, like join up in Ulm. You guys can come to, I don't know, over here. And we might attack Bohemia, if Bohemia has enough low troops. Nah, you are allied to people, so let's attack Frankfurt instead. Do we have a truce with you? No. Yes, we do, for another year, which means we can attack Frankfurt. Without calling... Oh, yes, the Emperor can always call a defensive war, so... No Cassus Belly on... I meant Frankfurt, please. Clare War, which would bring in Austria, which has no troops. Oldenburg, Alsace, Bavaria. Yeah. I think we shall do that. Or shall we attack Nuremberg? Nuremberg, we don't have a truce with you. You're allied just to Austria. You just call in Würzburg as a co belligerent, which means Würzburg can call his allies, which are Bohemia, Magdeburg. Blech. Yeah, or we attack Bohemia first, create some truces with some of those people, namely the Emperor. Oh, uh, that won't change anything. Uh, I'll need to bring in more troops over. Let's see, Bohemia. Bohemia has 44,000 troops. Ugh. Well, that's uh, a problem. What? Well, you can take stuff. Actually, let's see. You have claims on this province, so let's transfer this to Poland. This province. And, yeah. We want basically all the rest. But mostly the coastal stuff. <clears throat> no, he would not. Uh, that'd be a nice start. Magnus Hoek. What, people are joining the coalition again? Hungary. Well, in that case, who are you allied to? Switzerland. 
I am very tempted to just attack you in that case, because Switzerland shouldn't have so many troops. Yeah, let's just declare the war before the coalition builds up. Um, gain one stability or gain 50 prestige. We are at max stability, we're at mostly max prestige. What could we do to... Uh, I guess we'll... Oh no, we are very low on prestige. Well, in that case. And... Lose battle. Saxony has entered the coalition. Um, so, are we at war with Switzerland? Yes. So I think we'll send these guys over to take care of him, and you can, you guys can kind of just relax in Leipzig, and we'll call it a day. Prized. Oh, Switzerland has troops. Yeah, you can have fun on that fort. Don't really care much. Just didn't want the coalition to get too big too fast. Okay, you're dead, and your fort is level 4, which should go fairly quickly. <coughs> However, fort here is only level 4, which is a shame. Uh, other forts are level 6, yeah. Just Ulm, which is a more recent acquisition, which isn't quite to up to standards. Oh, we have lazy diplomats, which means we should be fabricating claims. On um, we actually have a core. Here. Oh, Brandenburg. I was thinking, why do we have a claim here? Let us fabricate a claim on Altmark, whatever. Oh, it's nice province, eighteen or twenty. Yeah, we can fabricate on both. Saxony might as well also. Just so we have one. No, oh, we've been discovered in Saxony straight away. <clears throat> Bohemia has rivaled us, very good, which means when we do go to war, it will be fun. Let's see if Ottomans want to attack this here. Ulm and Athena, yeah. And once you've dealt with the rebels, you can come back. I will keep an eye out here. Oh, he's bringing more troops to Burgas. Means you can go and say hi. You arrive on the 13th, we arrive on the 6th. And we leave on the 16th, we arrive on the 13th. Very good. Lubeck has entered the coalition. Sad times. Oh well. <clears throat> oh yeah, we'll probably attack Lubeck too while he's still in the small coalition. Hopefully this falls before... Yeah, Switzerland is doing pretty well over there. Yeah, we have money, which means we should spend it on building another stack. Could we afford it? We uh, Guys, would cost... How can I edit? Ah, eight four six. Eight four six, which has a monthly cost of eight. So we could afford another stack, and if we just do two four six, should be fine. Two, one two three four. And six cannons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Wurzburg, no! The Emperor. Ooh. Which means. Oh, Bohemia is now the Emperor. Uh, which means you are allied to. Ooh. You're actually not allied to that many interesting people. Oh well. Let's see now. A Duran, do you want to get out of this war? Not yet. <clears throat> Could we piece you out for the deal we wanted before? Yeah. You would even still give in. No. No. Nis. We are very close to getting also Nis. So I think we will try and take it. I know it's not coastal.
Okay, but I'll have to wait for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and posting your comment, ideas, and suggestions into the comment section. I'll see you again next time where we continue and hopefully finish our War of the Ottomans, take some nice provinces, and then concentrate on Europe again before the coalition reforms. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.